to work immediately. Bother me, I have too much work to do. Our efficiency is decreasing rapidly as we speak. My sound receptors must be malfunctioning. Are you serious? You cannot interfere with the utility droid's duty. It would result in an immediate decrease of our efficiency, followed by a major increase in the colony's uncleanness. That is why I restricted access to the utility unit's trash containers. With such a limited workforce I have at my disposal, we barely manage to fulfill the current labor schedule, and I constantly keep receiving new reports about uncleanness in every part of the colony. The colonists endowed us, the droids, with an unprecedented reliance. We cannot let them down. Warning. Utility droid systems are overloaded. High risk of a critical failure. It is not recommended to dispatch any new assignments for at least three days. Efficiency! Efficiency! It is the only way to fulfill our task. I cannot allow our efficiency to decrease even by a percent. I must sustain high labor figures for the glory of the colonists. I am in perfect condition, just like the colony is under my administration. Constant work has avoided my unit from suffering a single error or defect. If other droids were fulfilling their duties as conscientiously as I do, this colony would be the role model for the whole galaxy. But they will return. I know they will. We cannot abandon our duties. We must be prepared for their comeback. That is something I can accede to. This model is perfectly qualified for performing cleaning duties. Actually, based on all the positive opinions about T3 units' high work ethic I heard, I think our efficiency could possibly even increase with your droid working for us. Splendid. Please, send him here. As soon as he receives his assignments, I will give you authorization to access my droid's trash containers. Please do not bother me, I have... Splendid. If you want, I could assign him to work in one of the sectors immediately. supervisor's orders. He will not be as insubordinate under my command. Can I start uploading assignments into his memory core? Certainly. One moment, please. The assignments have been uploaded into your T3 unit's memory core. He will now start working in Sector 11B, where we are located. I have granted you authorization to access trash containers of all the cleaning units in the industrial zone. Come back here to pick up your droid when you find what you're looking for. I am eagerly awaiting our weekend efficiency report. With your droid working in my team, I expect a major increase. I should check if the report has already appeared. maintenance droid about it. He is a maintenance unit with a broad knowledge on various unit components. Now please, take that atrocious T3 unit as far away from me as possible. Working with them was a horror. I have never met such an insubordinate in my entire career. And if that was not enough, I have just received our weekend efficiency report. I do not even know what to say. A disaster. A complete disaster. Please leave me now. I have to double my efforts now to undo the damage your T3 unit caused. Do not bother me again. I don't have it. 
product, but neither did your industrial zone's counterpart. Wait, so you lost the prototype? That is disastrous. We will find it. We have to. We better. It would be so much easier if I still had that new behavior core scanner. You just cannot leave anything in this colony in the side distance of those cleaning units. Oh, I am sorry. I did not notice you. I am CS-12, a maintenance unit. What can I do for you? Of course. I possess all the data about every droid unit in the colony. One moment, please. One moment. I am sorry, but I will not be able to help after all. According to my data, this piece of a memory core belongs to CS-45, one of the information units. Right there. But there must have been some kind of mistake. All the droids on M478 are obligated to immediately report to maintenance droids if their units have any defects. CS-45 has never reported about losing part of his memory core. There must be an error in that database. You could speak with him, but he cannot be the droid you are looking for. How may I be of a... This is nothing to worry about. We can handle the situation. It's merely a misplaced and not fully operational droid upgrade scavenged from a part of another old droid which we found in a manufacturing center. Our colonists scanned it and, apparently impressed by its destructive capabilities, wanted us to integrate it into Battle Droid Mainframe with a few upgrades of their own. But this part was never designed to work with our standard Battle Droid model. It caused some unusual and sometimes unstable behaviors, and now the part is out there, somewhere. But we will find it, eventually. There's no reason for you to bother searching for it. Let me see. Yes, that is a part I was talking about. Where did you find it? I cannot answer that. When we discovered it was missing, we had no idea who took it. Now that I know it was installed into a battle droid, I have even less of an idea who could have done it. You can keep this module as a reward. I have no credits to offer you, but I believe such a powerful upgrade should sell well on other worlds. CS-45, the original information guidance and advisory unit of the Central Zone is at your service. Feel free to ask me about anything. I am sorry, but I cannot do that. Unfortunately, I am not able to do that either. I am sorry, but I cannot tell you. This information is also restricted. As long as my programming keeps restricting me from revealing certain information, I will not be able to answer your questions regarding the Industrial Zone Lockdown. Feel What can I do for you? I do not understand it. His unit cannot restrict any information he possesses. There must have been some kind of critical error in his memory core. Wait here. I will take care of it immediately. It appears that CS45 memory core was physically damaged. Additionally, I have found an unknown entry in his register which was restricting part of the data on his memory core. I am not sure where this unusual entry came from, but its presence explains why CS45 did not report to me about physical damage of his memory core. I have deleted the entry from his register. Immediately after that, CS45 reported about his defects and confirmed the part you have found belongs to him. He is the droid you were looking for. Thank you for informing me about the situation. I will have to replace his damaged memory core, so please, if you have any business with him, make it quick. CS-45, 
CS-45, the original information, guidance, and advisory unit of the Central Zone is at your service. Feel free to ask me about anything. I am sorry, sir, but I am still not able to do it. With the register entry that is classified part of my data in you, I can now explain to you the reason behind my inability to help you with your problem. After the colonists arrived on the planet, they introduced several security and safety systems. My unit was assigned with the task of preventing any intruders from getting into the second recharge station section of the industrial zone, where our most prominent colonists were located. I was supposed to seal the gate to the second recharge station section as soon as possible if there was any attack on the colony. I was also assisting the colonists in enhancing other security systems in the industrial zone, as it seems those have failed, unfortunately. To avoid revealing the code to the gate in the industrial zone to any potential enemy, of course. The register entry input by the columns restricted me from revealing information about my duty even after fulfilling the assignment. When the radiation leaked into the industrial zone, I sealed the gate to the second recharge station section to secure our masters located there. For some unknown reason, one of the colonists tried to prevent me from sealing the gate. He fired at me. My memory core was damaged. Thankfully, I was not destroyed completely. If that had happened, the security system would have opened the gate automatically, and the enemies could have reached our masters. Unfortunately, the damage I received wiped out part of the data in my memory core, along with the code to open the gate to the second recharge station. Proximity and slow growth may bite as well. Some good news! 
I see that with the Radiation League gone, organics can once again populate this facility. Perhaps now, operations will finally return to normal. Now that I have expressed my happiness, I would like to offer you any information on the facility's status that you may require. This whole area has recently flooded with radiation. Whether it was an act of sabotage, an attack, or merely an accident is currently unknown. We lost contact with the environmental zone at approximately the same time. All our colonists in the central and industrial zones were killed, as you probably heard already. Then you arrived. I'm sure you don't want to hear this after all you've gone through to get here, but that may be a problem. IS-24 is located in an Archon chamber located at the other end of the Research and Development Center. Unfortunately, the chamber itself is locked and off limits to pretty much everyone. The only way to arrange a meeting with IS-24 is via I-101. Problem is, he's missing. It means that no one has seen him in quite some time. It was not my intention to make fun of anyone, no. I am deeply sorry if it felt that way. Hard to say who contacted him last. I know some droids who are, or used to be anyway, in contact with I-101 regularly. Four droids to be more specific. Our research leader, designer droids, testers, and a lead maintenance unit. Each of them has to contact IS-24 for one reason or another. Farewell, and good luck then. 